So Spring 05, number 17. This one is essentially the same as what you did in part two of lab where you put the hot metal in the water and warmed it up. It's the opposite though. You're putting a very cold thing in there. It's going towards freezing. Okay, so it's the opposite of what you did in that part two in your thermo lab. So we have a piece of tungsten. It's a cube. Tungsten W is tungsten. Would we uh, be able to ask someone what that was if we didn't know in on the test? <coughs> you know what I mean? Like on the periodic table. Oh uh, no, I think you need to know it. Yeah. So now you know it's one of the weird ones that doesn't look like it. Yeah. Yeah. The most of the rest you can figure out. Tungsten is W. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> I don't know what else it could be. Because like TI is titanium, TL thallium. So which one's yeah. Y? Why yttrium. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Awesome. Yeah, way to scare you, huh? Okay, <laughs> 1.442 centimeters on the side. Uh, so it's dropped in to a styrofoam cup. Uh, filled with 10 mils of water at 10 degrees C, so this water's pretty cold. Uh, the tungsten, oh this, oh yeah, and the tungsten is at minus 200 degrees C, so it's really cold. So what's going to happen is basically when you drop it in, this liquid water here is going to get colder and eventually freeze. Uh, and that's what it says. So as the temperature cools to zero, uh, it starts to freeze. What mass of the water freezes as the freezing continues? That basically means that we're not going below freezing. Okay, so it's just going to start freezing. So when I'm saying freezing continues, it's still freezing. Okay? It'd be like if you're boiling water and you're just not done boiling it. So we want to know how much of it actually freezes. Not necessarily all of it is going to freeze. Uh, you get certain things like the CP of tungsten. Uh, let's see. The enthalpy of fusion of water. Fusion of the water. You'll need that you get the enthalpy of vaporization of the tungsten. Where am I going to use that? Enthalpy of vaporization means what's happening to the tungsten? Yeah, is the tungsten going to boil? Not in this question. It's cold. It's a solid. It's cooling down. So that's irrelevant. That was just for fun. Okay? Awesome. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Anything I can do to help your life out. Sum of the Q's <laughs> equal zero. So I knew this was a sum of the Q's equal zero. We're finding the amount that freezes. Uh, we've got things like a coffee cup calorimeter, things that I, it's got to be a sum of Q's. There's a lot of Q's going on here. So we've got to find all the Q's. So first let's ask, is there anything that changes temperature? Yes. yes. Okay, what is that thing? Water. Yeah, the H2O and the tungsten. Okay, uh, is there anything that reacts? Wait, what about Q calorimeter? Great question. The Q, the Q calorimeter, that yeah. changes temperature too. What are we going to do with that? It's not the given, right? In this case, we're going to ignore it because we don't have a heat capacity or specific heat of the calorimeter. So we can't do anything with it. So you're assuming it's zero, you could write that down, or if you didn't write it, that was fine too. There's a phase change. Phase change, yeah. Uh, Water. Uh, Q, it's, uh, I'll just put Q freeze. It's freezing the water. We know it at least starts to freeze somehow. So, let's go through all the Qs. I'll write them out separately. Q of H2O, that's the water cooling down. So it's MCP delta T. It's got to be that formula because there's a temperature change. 
Um, let's see if we know everything. CP for the water, that's going to be given on the back of the test. Check. That's given. Mass of the water, how do we find that? Oh, density. Yeah, so for the mass of H2O, it's the density times the volume. It's a really common thing to happen for liquids that you need to use this formula. <coughs> the density is given on the back, if you don't know it, but it's one gram per centimeter cubed for water. The volume is the volume of the cube, this number cubed. Cube of tungsten. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Then what is it? Oh. Yeah, ten milliliters. I was <laughs> going the wrong direction. Uh, ten. I was mixing up my cubes. Ten milliliters. So there's the mass. We have the CP. The change in temperature. What is the initial temperature of the water? That's 10 and it goes to what? Zero. Yeah, so zero minus uh, a positive 10. Okay. And final minus initial. Okay. One. First one, check. <laughs> <laughs>